I always remember him telling me the stories about James Grove and Sons Limited from when he worked there and the types of machines he used to operate at the factory. He worked at the factory from a young age and started from college from doing engineering. His talent and craftsmanship will not be forgotten in our long black country history as he was one of the best in Europe for his button manufacturing. James Grove has been manufacturing buttons for over 150 years, from making buttons in the hotel to a manufacturing business in Hells Owen known as Bloomfield Works, operated by the original Grove family. He supplied buttons to the military uniform for the Civil War, and therefore his buttons were also supplied throughout Europe. James Grove also owned a house at the top of Alexandra Road, which is also known as a pub at the current day today. I've never seen this one made. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you how I think it's done. Oh, I'm, working, uh, I'm working it out. The outside's turned first. And your, back, your back will be a normal down on the back. Then you go into your second stage where the outside edge there would be turned. That would leave like a top hat. It would then go through the barreling process to be polished for the simple reason the outside's polished and this centre is dead. Then go back to the machine again where you would turn out the inside, leaving it sandblast but matte. That would leave then a square top. It would then go into an indexing machine. You see these little slots, all them little slots would be put in. The, the material being casing was white base. White base is used a lot for dyeing, and I know it's white because it's showing white, so. It would then go back into the machine where the top would be turned off, showing the white. So you get the outside polished, the inside bat, velvet, all the slots put in indexing, and then died and then the top turned off showing the outside white edge. So you can see the amount of work that's involved. And of course with the cost you can understand now why they wouldn't pay the price today. <laughs> 